Flavia Kamarembo is a trained nurse at a Uganda Heart Institute Mulago Hospital Complex. The mother of two was diagnosed with rheumatic heart disease. I uh, was diagnosed five years back. I lived with episodes of denial. People think having a heart condition you are gone case. Things have ended there. Tom Okero, a resident of Tororo, is suffering from the same heart complication. In fact, too late that my blood was flowing at, at will. You can live with a disease and still be productive and impact life. Medical research conducted in Uganda in 2013 indicates that 1.8 million Ugandans were diagnosed with rheumatic heart disease. Of this number, 306,000 people die. When people get sore throat, sometimes you don't realize you have got cough, you got a sore throat. It progresses if you don't treat vigorously. It progresses slowly, slowly over time, affects the valves in the heart. The Uganda Heart Institute at Mulago Hospital has been the central place for medical care. Now, the advanced technology which the Heart Institute has acquired would make it easier to diagnose and detect rheumatic heart disease. This is a, a modern ultrasound, a modern machine that has been brought up as a result of innovation that can detect whether the heart, the valve, the heart is working well or there is a problem in the heart. According to the director of Mulago Heart Institute, Dr. John Magino, trained nurses can also use the device. We have it in Igulu. We have it in uh, Nilira. Nilira is there. Yes, and now we are rounding out Mbarara, and our next target is in Bale. So you can move with them in a pocket, in a bag, and go and do all these interventions. She is able to take the ECGs, she is able to listen to the heart. Rheumatic heart disease commonly manifests among people between the age of 5 and 35 years. However, experts say it can be controlled once detected early. So it has robbed the country of the most productive age group people. And once we have detected it, we can treat. It is something that can cure. A survey conducted in Igulu district this year revealed shocking results. Of the 2,456 people tested, it was discovered that 61 children and 56 others tested positive for rheumatic heart disease. Jingo Francis, NTV.